What's up guys? I'm looking at Halo 3 gameplay. This will be Slayer, Team Slayer. And I lost this game, so this will be a commentary as to why I lost. Even though I did well, our team still lost, and this is, you know, a team playlist, so everyone has some kind of responsibility. Now, I did have a pretty good start, so let's look at, you know, the good things and the bad things about this game. Rather than fighting him, I'm going to go to pick up OV because the other guy was shooting their snipe. So I pick up OV, get the sniper, and then I'm immediately going to push up. Our team's pushing up, so I'm going to push up as well. As I said in an earlier video on this map, if you're playing Team Slayer, you either play defense or offense. There's no in-between. A nice little up VR there after the double kill. So since my teammates are pushing through long and green, I'm going to go sword so no one spawns the sword. Um, I threw a grenade, you know, their S1 just because I didn't want anyone to spawn there because I was going to look there first. Again, right now our team is playing really well, you know, we're pushing through long. I'm in sword sniping. I call someone else called that guy out in needles, which is why I was able to clean him up with that last shot. Now, as you notice, that guy had rockets. I already sniped rockets. That should not have happened. So our teammates should have, someone should have picked up. And it was my fault to some degree that I didn't call that rockets were down. I should have said that. So that's one mistake. Even though that rocket guy didn't kill anyone, it would have been free kills for us. And then here's another mistake. I go back to our base to help one of our teammates kill this guy. But then, like, our other teammates pull back, and then we lose control, you know, of long haul, of green. And now, you know... We can't even control our side of the map. You know, we're spawning snipes and we're have got you know the enemies on our needle pit, our second. And then when we are in our mauler or shotgun and team slayer, people are pushing through training and courtyard. And if you're playing alone like I was doing, you need to take the initiative and like you should be the guy who goes like S2 to watch what's going on and if you're S2 even with a BR you can still watch training you can see green sword runway see a lot what's going on plus you can pick up snipe when it spawns like even though I'm getting a few kills here and there you know we're still not controlling our side of the map I knew I was going to die, but I knew it was better to just burn invis. Fortunately, I call this guy out and, you know, one of my teammates cleans him up. Like, here's another mistake. Why am I going here? My teammates are here. They got this area locked down. It's just like a constant battle, you know, green to green. It's kind of stupid to do constantly fight there. I get Ovi. I'm going to push their corp try to get their snipe. I don't know what my my teammate's right behind me. He should have gone sword. I get killed and so does he. And that's two free kills for them. See, no one's watching, you know, second BR. Even though we have a sniper on S2, he can't watch, you know, everything on one side. And then he gets cleaned up. Probably from someone who went long haul, came around, shotgun, you know, objective jump up or something like that and came up and assassinated him so right now since my teammates are on the other side I'm watching long when you do this you have control of your side but I don't know why my teammates look we're all here this is quite stupid this should not be done look there's three of us on second BR no one's watching training no one's on S2 We gave him two free kills right there since they have rockets. Three of us are now S1, which means three of us just died. We didn't get, I don't think we got any kills at that point either.
I knew that guy was weak. I wanted to go for him and get that one kill. I get cleaned up though. At least I traded. Again, even though I died, I at least traded a kill. If you're playing a tough game like this where you know the team's starting to come back, at least try to trade kills. If you're dying and not getting at least one kill, they're gonna catch up. See, I'm not going to engage that guy. There's no point. I'd rather just watch, you know, prevent him from rushing. I have no idea why our guy is jumping on plat. I don't know what he's doing there. He should stay S2. He gets killed. And he lost Snipe. And I was, like, trying my best this game to win. I was getting some clutch kills here. Here and there. Like, right there. That was kind of dumb that we traded. Because I put, like, a two or three shots into him still beat me down twice. That was like a Halo Reach beat down. I wanted to push, you know, I had OV and you can't really play defensive with the OV and Team Slayer because it doesn't last very long. And you get the invinci invincibility for a sh such a short time want to make use of it so right here I'm you know telling my teammates you know I'm fighting S2 and S1 you know I've gotten you know one or two kills here and there so that's good I'm telling them to push long they're not really doing that as you can see they're all on training side I don't know why the enemy's gonna push through long I eventually get cleaned up but at least I get you know I get two or three kills here and there Yeah, I push briefly, but I don't go all the way. Now, our sniper got killed, which is a problem because, you know, if you lose sniper support, that happens. I throw my re region, tell my teammates to come here. But unfortunately, I get killed. You know, the score is closer, and right now we have no map control. And I made the mistake there, kind of rushing to, you know, BR2. Two people are pushing through long. You know, I'm trying to help my teammate, calling it out that, look, there's a guy, the guy's pushing long, get back. Here I should have pulled back because the score was so close, but I got, got, went a little too far and I pushed, and I didn't kill the guy. And then C14, I don't know why he just stopped shooting, he could have cleaned him up. And so we lost, you know, I went highly positive, but since I didn't play more of the leader and, you know, control certain areas, our team lost. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Please. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.